is going on everyone welcome back to another episode and today is a little special because this only happens once every you know so many years and today is like a total lunar eclipse i was going to be out here and i figured i'd make a video and we can see how this lunar eclipse affects the bite are they going to be jumping in the boat i sure hope so we're out on lake lanier this place is special so the bite should be good regardless so we'll see if we can get on them we got people around the boat ramp and chairs getting ready for the eclipse right now it is currently 141. The eclipse is supposed to officially start at 145. The maximum point's gonna be at 305 when the sun is covered as much as it can be, and then it ends at 421. Stay tuned and we'll see what happens. There we go. Fish number one of the uh, eclipse here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it is a lot darker outside. fish right there nice little three pound spot this guy was suspended over 40 feet of water and he uh, ate that white swim bait you know how much I love to throw that swim bait I fished a tournament yesterday and we did a lot of our damage on it so if you get a chance that'll be out tomorrow after this video and uh, go check that out there we go. oh he popped off I got a good hook in him there. See if we can get this guy to go the game big. So one thing I've noticed um, in the past few days are that I don't know if it's because of the cold temperatures at nighttime, it's going into like the 30s again. But these bass were a lot more suspended before this just a little guy. Um, now it seems that they're back on the bottom and hugging the bottom like this. You were able to cast it out at those suspended fish over top of them and they'd come up and grab it. Well now a lot of these fish are belly to the bottom again and what I've been doing is reeling it super slow counting rocks on the bottom and it's just like weight. It's kind of like ditch fishing in the winter time where you know you're reeling a swim bait super slow down in the ditch and you know your rod just sort of loads up with weight. They shot up off the bottom. I barely saw them. They just looked like little rocks down there. And I was dropping my swim bait down. And as it was falling, it came right up. Man, look how fat this guy is. Good lord. It's a belly on him. Pre spawn for sure. I think at least. But, um,. Dang, they're feeding up good. Oh, 
five four point seven eight four and three quarter he is a little shorter than my fives but uh the gut on him is absolutely insane he is just gorged and feeding up let's get him back in the water there we go i don't think he's big on that white swim bait again, guys. Uh, he ain't big. Am I gonna make that same mistake I did last video? Go, there's another one on that white swim bait right there. Thanks, buddy. Guys, look at the size of this largemouth cruising around. It's gotta be all of six pounds. Threw at him, he followed my mag draft, but good Lord. All right guys, well, I forgot to record an outro, but uh, check this out. It's one of them nights where you just gotta make some breakfast for dinner, but also gonna cook up some of these guys, brand new cast 2.0 g's it's their second version of their ogs in 20 gram top water season's coming up so super excited to throw these other than that i appreciate y'all watching stay tuned for the tournament video peace